Hey there, dear friends. Thanksgiving, a horror comedy film by Eli Roth, has been praised as a potential successor to Wes Craven's iconic Scream series. Though the genre of horror comedy is relatively scarce, Roth effectively strikes the delicate balance between scares and laughs, allowing Thanksgiving to stand out as a standout film within this category. While recent Scream movies have paid homage to Craven's work, they have failed to capture the same combination of fear and entertainment that made the original four films so beloved. Roth's campy and genuinely creepy slasher Thanksgiving, which initially began as a joke trailer within the Grindhouse double feature by Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino, is the perfect follow-up that fans have been waiting for. Similar to the original Scream, Thanksgiving takes place one year after a tragic event, but instead of a single murder, it centers around a deadly Black Friday stampede that claimed the lives of three people. Um, unlike Scream, however, Roth's movie opens with the chaotic event itself, depicting the madness and panic that ensues. Uh, the frenzy begins when a Walmart-like store in Plymouth, Massachusetts, promises a free waffle iron to the first 100 shoppers to arrive on Thanksgiving Eve. Desperate to claim their prize, throngs of people gather their New England accents and specific Massachusetts dialects adding to the authenticity of the setting. Uh, Roth masterfully builds tension in Thanksgiving, escalating the chaos of the crowd until it becomes simultaneously unnerving and comical. I, he embraces the blur between horror and comedy, seamlessly blending moments of gore with humor that elicits both laughter and gasps from the audience. The movie never loses its momentum as it fast forwards to a year after the massacres, revealing that a mysterious killer dressed as the Plymouth Colony Governor John Carver is targeting the teenagers who were present at the stampede and captured it on film. And with a helpful sheriff investigating the murders, a suspicious new cop in town and numerous eccentric locals filling the suspect list, including the hilariously portrayed arms dealer played by Joe Delphin, Thanksgiving keeps viewers engaged through its breezy exposition and cleverly delivered jokes. In true Scream fashion, Thanksgiving's mystery unfolds like a blend of teen sleuth comedy and horror, as the main characters, despite being popular and often unlikable, make wild conclusions and accusations that lead them in all the wrong directions. As they are picked off one by one in increasingly gruesome and Thanksgiving-themed ways, the movie reaches levels of gore that surpass even the Scream series. While not as stomach-turning as Roth's previous Splatterhouse films, such as Hostel or The Green Inferno, Thanksgiving certainly outdoes most other slashers in terms of blood and gore. But what truly sets Roth's film apart is its skillful navigation of tone. From the opening brawl on Black Friday, which manages to be funny, silly, gross, and scary simultaneously, Roth maintains a delicate balance throughout the entire movie. He utilizes humorous one-liners and gags from Jeff Rendell's script to heighten the tension of the horror scenes rather than undermine them. For example, when the John Carver killer prepares a special Thanksgiving bird for cooking, or when the final girl disguises herself as a mannequin while the killer stalks her in her high school, the comedy enhances the suspense. Finding the perfect equilibrium between comedy and horror is a rare feat, even among the most entertaining movies in the genre. Films like Totally Killer or Happy Death Day tend to lean heavily towards humor and fail to elicit genuine scares, while darker and more gruesome films like House of 1000 Corpses often overshadow the humor on initial viewings. Few movies have achieved the balance as successfully as Craven's Scream series. While Thanksgiving may not reach the same heights, it comes 